Hello everyone, Akuni here, and welcome back to Frightober! <laughs> uh, today we're getting back to close your eyes. Um, last I remembered, we are in a murder house, and I don't know where to go from where I am. So, we're going to see kind of like... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to do things, which we'll, we'll see if I can actually manage it. Yes, no, maybe so. Mama, ooh, didn't mean to make you cry, but I'm not back again this time tomorrow. Carry on, carry on, oh, it doesn't really matter. Mama just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Alrighty. 
Is this new? I think this is new. Is this new? I don't remember this. You're too late. <laughs> I already called the cops. You're already as good as dead. Okay. Something on his body. Octagon key. I swear when I tried going up there, it wouldn't let me. Well, so, there we go. What did you see? This is still part of the game? A man with eyes in strange places. Me in a house, murdering people. Nothing. Hmm, I can be strange. Don't you just get the feeling that it meant something? If I may, you're looking a tad bit tired. How about we just close our eyes? Just for a bit, you know. Well, not with that attitude, no. I'm pretty sure I had several keys that I ended up not using. But whatever. That's a big hole. Alright. A gurney? Another one. Right. Sorry, I'm just checking these darkened areas just in case there's something. This can't be. Are these the people that I killed in the house? Because that would make sense. That's a lot of them. Okay then. Guess I'm going back where I came from. That one's moving! Hello, friend! Friend? Okay. This was not here last time. Seems to be a giant... what? Seems to be a giant what? Oh, a giant hole here. Giant breeze can faintly be felt coming from it. I hate to think about it, but this appears to be the only way out. Jump into the hole? Sure. Back in the house. I am back in the house. Okay. Is that... Um... Wasn't this a library a second ago? Oh well.
I'm lost. Okay. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker. Oh, that sun chills down my spine. Can I, you know... There we go. Oh, little marshmallow. I knew we had so much in common. I just knew it. You're just full of surprises, aren't you? I dreamt about you. I dreamed that you and I were in one of those gurneys. We were strapped together, tied and tight. No one was going to take us apart. I slowly slid my hand under your robes, undressed you. You were so soft. Ugh. Okay, then. Oh, the things I want to do to you, little marshmallow. Would you moan? Would you squeal? Would you whimper? I'd like it if you screamed. I imagine you'd give the most wondrous scream. Would you scream for me? Would you scream real good? Simon is yours, and you are mine, little marshmallow. Okay. I don't. Oh my! This oh. is quite a pickle, isn't it? How so ever will you get out? You could let me out. Uh, how do you check that wall over there? Of course you have. You know, I can probably help you out here if you're just willing to close your eyes. Come on, let a pile help you out. You're a creepy, sir. Why do you want me to keep closing my eyes? Just close them. I'm just gonna pace myself. Yep. That's actually white noise. Um, your mind creates that noise where it's only silence. I don't ever experience that when I sleep because I sleep with a fan on because yay, white noise. It's called daydreaming. Because the darkness of the world can hurt us, whereas the darkness behind our eyes can heal us. I'm in a jail cell. Oh, okay. Something's there through the bars. Peer through? Yeah, I'll peer through. <laughs> Hi there. Do you know where you're going? Mm, no, but you're probably going to tell me. I'll just keep going wherever this path takes me. Now that's a productive attitude. But are you sure it's for the best? You know, there's been something I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. The subway system, if we can still call it that, wasn't anywhere close to where you were supposed to be executed. So why'd you come here? What drew you here? You don't need to answer that. After all, I already know the answer. Okay there, Satan. So far, you've been an amazing contestant. 
but the stakes are rising and the challenge is only going to get tougher as we move on to round two. You sensed it, haven't you? Things aren't going to get any better. There's no way you're going to escape death, you know, at least in any meaningful way. You're a wanted man. You've done terrible, terrible things that can never be forgiven. You were used, disposed, tarnished. Who really cared for you? Did anyone ever really help? And in the end, here you are, utterly, truly alone. But I'm not alone. You're here with me, mister. Besides me, of course. Hi! Let me give you a piece of advice. Okay. Ghosts are evil. I know, I am one! They haunt every one of us until the day we die. We just try to forget that they're even there. Painting ignorance has always been one of humanity's most unique. Beautiful, twisted ways of self-defense. Don't forget your role in this. Now hurry! I hear there's some people that are just dying to meet you. <laughs> Okay. I'm actually going to end this episode here. If you liked what you saw, make sure to leave a like and a comment on probably what's your favorite part about this uh, episode. Um, if you would like to see more of Close Your Eyes, the link to the, dis the playlist is in the description below. And if you want to see more games that I've played for Frytober, that playlist is also linked in the description below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell for notifications. Um, make sure you get alerted to when a new video comes out. Uh, and if you have anything else to say to me, just put it in the comments below. Until next time, my lovelies.